You know what I drive right now? Anything I want. You know why? Because I drove crap for a long time. I drove cars like nobody else would drive. Now I get to drive whatever I want to drive. Hey guys, welcome back to Passive Money Plan. My name is Alex. That's Kirby over there. Kirby, what do you think of Dave Ramsey's video on uh, driving whatever he wants? Uh, I live that life. I live that life to the fullest. Uh, but before I get into the inside of Dave Ramsey, hey, all the viewers, anybody viewing this video, please do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. We're trying to grow the channel as big as possible. But back to the video. What I meant to uh, say I live that life, I literally lived that life. I I bought a 2005 uh, Ford Explorer Sport Track. I bought it when I was in the military, when I was still a, little, a young soldier in the military. And, and then into recently, so I had it for about 15 or 16 years. And I that was the only vehicle I had. I didn't go trade it in for part or you know tires or anything like that. I kept replacing it. And my plan and my ultimate goal was just to drive it to the, you know, wheels fell off. But then, you know, things happened as far as COVID and things like that. So driving wasn't optimal. And I just found myself sitting in the house that I really didn't drive much. The only time I would drive is to go to the airport and something like that. But that was really the key to my financial building block. And People used to, you know, make fun of me all the time and say, when are you going to buy, you know, a Land Rover, a Range Rover, whatever those cars are? And I say, why? This will still work. A car will get you from point A to B. But for me, it was more than that. Um, when I bought that car, I was um, super broke. I mean, I've been broke before, but I was super broke when I bought that car. And then uh, so I always had it as a reminder every morning, you know, yeah. You you have the money, you have the uh, revenue that you're generating, you have the cash flow that you're generating. But every time I would go outside and see that car, was a reminder to say, hey, if you don't stay disciplined, you can always go back to being that guy. And so that's why I always held on to it. But then uh, over time, uh, it was just time to give it up because I wasn't using the vehicle and it was somebody that could use it more. And still to this day, the car would start up and drive wherever. So... But I actually lived that life. And then now I can buy whatever I want to, even though I still hate to drive. I don't buy stuff. But yeah. that was a financial building block. Like we talked in the previous video, uh, getting rich takes work. But, you know, getting wealthy takes discipline. And discipline of not searching for the instant gratifications, not like cars of gratification to me, but understanding that buying depreciating assets don't do nothing for you in a big scheme of things. So that's why I love it. And now I can buy whatever I want, even though I'm not buying another car. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember you telling me that it was like a reminder to you that uh, first pickup truck. Um, and not to call you out, but isn't that the same thing with the, the Gucci watch? What is it? The... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that was and, and for the Gucci watch. The Gucci watch was uh, that was the first time I started making some money. Uh you know, well over what I needed to survive. I started making some money and then I bought it. I bought it because I was like, oh yeah, when people have money, this is what they do. Yeah. And then I realized that's not what they do. And then, so I still have it. I wear it never. Uh, if I pull it out once a year, it's amazing. It'd be a miracle, but it still just sits there just to remind me, don't do stupid stuff for money. That's exactly what it do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know many people that uh would um keep stuff just to remind them of uh, mistakes they made. Especially me, like I try to sell everything. I mean, I'll sell I don't know Tupperware if I can. I mean, just because I I just I I know how online sales work, so I always thought that was an interesting uh rule or rule of discipline or whatever that you that you kept is you keep things as reminders of how you used to be and how you've changed. Um, Cause like, like I said, for me, I mean, at least for most people, they would either try and get some money back or make some profit off of it. And they wouldn't want to remind themselves of the mistakes that they made or uh, bad times that they were in. So, yeah, and I understand that, but that's it's it's about understanding yourself. 
uh, me, um, I am my mom's son. I am my father's son. Um, no matter if I like it or not, I'm half of them. And and half of me have a tendency, just genetically and just how I was raised was, you know, you if you if the problem's not there no more, it's easily to forget. Like I always say, if you don't study history, you're bound to repeat it. And a lot of people, that's what they do. They will just get rid of a bad situation. It's not like so if I was in hard times now and I needed and I needed money, yes, I would offload the car. I offloaded a lot of other bad decisions that I've made. But I would have offloaded the car if I was in, still in a bad situation. I would offload the watch easy. Uh, but those two, those two things, well, the car I did offload, uh, get, uh, a family that needed way more than I did has it now. But the watch, it just is like I said, it's just that reminder because I know that if I just act like those times didn't exist and I don't keep studying, you know, what put me in that situation in the first place, about to repeat it. But that's me understanding myself is me waking up. One day when I was, you know, over $250,000 in debt and looking in the mirror and said, I'm the reason why I'm in this situation and I stopped blaming everybody else. But I didn't want to pass. I didn't want to. And I kept those. Like I said, I got rid of every, almost everything else. But I kept those as just reminders. And I didn't take it as when I was like, no, I'm keeping this as a reminder. It was just the car was there and I still needed the car and I would just drive it. And then once I wasn't driving, I didn't need the car and I can afford cars and buy whatever I want. I was like, no, I still want this car to sit right here. And every day, I, you can always go back here. So just like that motivation that made me stay disciplined to keep growing, keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. And my motivation wasn't to outshine my neighbors and let my neighbors know how much money I have. It's that's really, or let my friends see my network. So that never was my goal, but I it's about me understanding myself. And a lot of people need to understand themselves because they just believe that the world is messed up because of everybody else and not them. Right, right. No, good point. Um, to those watching too, Kirby's new car, he crashed it in the first week. So <laughs> what was the first <laughs> was it the first day or the first week? I forget. Uh, it was uh <laughs> yeah, I used to new things. <laughs> but uh it was well actually it was sitting, so I got the I got the new car. And then it sat in the garage for about a month after I got it. I never drove it. And then everybody was saying, hey, man, you got to drive the car because the battery will die. I mean, I've, my old car, it could sit there for months and still start up. So yeah. I said, okay. So I went, I got in the car and I said, I'm going to go get something to eat. Less than a mile away from my house, somebody come in and then uh, almost T-boned me, but hit the back of the car. And the only thing I did, I just turned around and just went back in my driveway. I never went to go get in that meeting. And I said, this is why, <laughs> this is why you don't have nice things. So that's that's pretty much how it works. Yeah, I've always wanted that like people uh you know that buy like all those luxury cars or uh collectible cars. And then if they drive it, like if it gets I, I mean, I understand there's insurance, but if they get into an accident, it's like all that value of the car just like went right out the window. And it's like Right. It's a, no matter if you get it repaired, it's going to be on the Carfax. You know, you get it repaired, it's still going to be on the Carfax. The car has been in an accident and things like that. But for all, for all the people in the, you know, uh, web world and social media world, yes, I did get another car. I'm not sitting here without a car. I got another car, but the car that I bought is not nothing to talk about. Like I said, I just look at vehicles as a point A to point B. Uh, 15 years down the road, this car will be sitting here and It'd probably be the same situation. Give it to somebody else that's in need. Because, like, I really don't drive that much. Like I said, most of my travel time is to the airport. But, yeah, since since I acquired the properties in Georgia, uh, I drive a little bit more. But it's not, it's not uh, you know, something that is a super high-end need. Um, you know, like I said, it's... I'm I'm able to buy a car and just have it sit there and not use it because I drove crap for for months. And and one quick thing, so this video don't go too long, is the thing that people don't understand is once you pay off a vehicle. So let's say, and that vehicle that I had was about five hundred dollars a month. That's what the car payment was. 
so five hundred dollars a month. Once you pay it off, you actually just increase your household income by five hundred. That's that's now that's the expense that's not leaving. So for fifteen years, the car has been paid off. Well, fourteen years, the car has been paid off at five hundred dollars a month. I don't know what that is for uh, my public school education, but let's just go 500 times 12 times 14. Mm -hmm. And that's, what'd you say it is? I think it's 84,000. I could be wrong. Look at you, boy. That's, <laughs> your mama did a great job. 84,000, there you go. 84000 that's $84,000. That's $84,000 that I could invest to make more money. That's $84,000, just period. If I just kept it in cash, that's $84,000 worth of a vehicle that I could buy, almost buying anything I want from a Tesla on down or putting a down payment on something higher, a Porsche or anything. So that's that's what he means that because he bought junk or he bought... um he bought and drove cars to the bitter end. Those are payments that he saved every month over all those long spans of time to give him a big, a big reserve to do whatever he wants with it. So if people stop jumping from car to car, jumping from car to car, you know, lease payments and stuff like that, and you just bought a car, paid it off, and just uh ran through it and just ran the car all the way to the ground, not forcefully trying to put it, you know get the car to expire but to actually maintain the car just keep driving keep driving those are monthly payments that you get to stack up stack up stack up stack up and then when you're in a more well-off position in your life you can buy whatever you want exactly well guys if you have a story like this let us know down below we would be interested to hear uh don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video